What's up, Vanguardians? This is Jonathan S.P. Mindam. I am here with a very special video today. I get the chance to interview the second place uh, team from California, which is, I'm going to do my best JD impersonation of this because I really like, I really want to see this. Team Pile Breathing Rubber Ducky. They uh, took second place in California. Um, and I'm going to just kind of, uh, kind of how I view you guys. I see you left to right. I'm just going to introduce you as how I see you. And we'll go from there. What I would love for you to do is just tell me what you played. Um, and we'll go from there, all right? So on my left, I see Mr. Christopher. Hey, everyone. And what did you play at uh, California? I played Extreme Grappler, or Extreme Battlers. Very nice, very nice. Then I see Vin. I play Sting Saber Battlers. Ooh, good combo. All right. And then last but not least, I see Harry Potter. Daniel Potter. Daniel Potter. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So three really good meta, like meta decks. I think probably like three of the best in my opinion. Um, you guys took second place. Um, can you kind of just give me a brief, like, like there was seven rounds. Yeah, there were seven rounds leading into the top eight. And where were, what was your guys' record throughout the day? Like if you can like try to recall, I know that sometimes that information's lost. Like, so first round, what were, how'd you guys do? Who won, who lost? Uh, everyone won first round. We yeah, three we all first. Good, good, good. That's awesome. All right, and then what was the second round for you guys? I think actually from so second one. to fourth, we went to one. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, actually, we only went three all twice. Oh. And um, yeah. so you, so someone always lost somewhere down the road, basically, except yes. for twice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Vin Lee or Carrie right there. Did you guys actually lose at all today, like that day, or did you just keep winning? Like it was just nonstop. You were undefeated, or? Um, I was undefeated <laughs> until I got to the final. That's the only match I lost to. And what it was, was the same that I beat earlier? And what it, did that? Did that guy go to the top eight? Did they go to? Uh, uh, the finals. The final. Oh, it was okay. So it was it was it was seventh round, and then the finals is where you guys. That was the the matchups for you guys, basically. Yeah. After, after seventh rounds, we went to top eight. So three rounds later, he faced someone, and that's when he got his first defeat. And then finals were before we got first or second place. Wow! And that was with Sing Saver um, at a mill. At mile. Did you guys have? Did you use the Jewel Knight variant at all, or is it just pure like Sing Saver slash? Jewel Knight. I mixed some Jewel Knight in it. Okay. All right. That's very cool because like I see a lot of times when people do the Jewel Knight stuff, it's just for the um, the pluses. I mean, like really, that's really what you're focusing on. I'm assuming so. Is just getting the um, uh, grade two. Can't think of it. The uh, sword <laughs> ah, thank you. Sorry, I'm like eh, something oh, promo God. ten dollars plus. So good. Yeah, <laughs> money. We call it. <laughs> uh, actually, my opponent with the app miles. Okay. Forget Sting Saver. I like the app mile. Five k front row. You know, they're dropping ten k to fifteen k. You know, first I'll strike for a gap blade. Right, that's the guy striking, right? Yeah, good blade. Yeah, if he hits, you know, call unit, call the sword my pressure my opponent again. Yeah. I'm I'm punishing my opponent because you know he's not gonna let me hit. He's not gonna let me call another entire 16k column, right? Because sword miles. So they'll burn their perfect card. Cool, right? So I might do like two to three times, and then the final time, I would uh, go for um, what's his face? The other one, Holy Saint Blow Dragon. Yeah. For that extra crit, you know, plus 5k. He could be attacking with forty five k to eighty five k. Yeah, very punishable. <laughs> so it was it was really just a power game. There It was really more so not so much about sing saver as it was oh. more like just abusing oh. your opponent, beating him in. Yeah, sing saver. I probably kick his effect only once and stand him only once. You know? Really? I didn't okay. I focus on Margo. I just focus on um, Jewel Knight. Yeah. You know, I ran two Margo and two Jewel Knight draw trigger. That way, have more um, variety variety feel of hitting sword mine. Okay. You know? Yeah, I was playing this um, deck today in our local tournament for free, and it's like we do like our little free tournaments today, and like I, I didn't even think Saber at all out of the three rounds we played. I saw all Atmos most tried. What now? Is it like four four? Like is that what your build was then? Was it like four four? Like four at mile four Soul Saber? Yeah, four four. Okay, yes. so pretty pretty classic as far as that goes. Okay. Yeah, I at the tournament I'm surprised there's a lot of different builds. Like one guy he made top eight with Sing Saber Ashley. You know, no ad mile, but he made it top that far. So, hmm, you know, because the thing is about my deck is early game pressure. You know. Yeah. 
it, it uh, punished my opponent's hand early game because it sunk my, you know. I bet you're really excited for that extra support that comes out. Um, the one when it calls, rest it, give 10,000 to a unit, I believe it is. Yeah, 10k? Yeah, that's... That, that's good rush. <laughs> Making 19 columns. All right. Uh, now, Chris, like, what was... Now, your experience with Battlers. Uh, obviously, a really good restanding deck. A lot of power, a lot of pressure. What were what was your matchups like throughout that day? Was it pretty good? Like, did you have a lot of retiring? Because that's usually Nova Grappler's weakness is cool Hank, white Hank, sorry, um, die, you know, off and things like that. How was your deck running compared to most decks, or compared to other things? My deck was running pretty good. Uh, I ran against no clans that retired. Uh, <laughs> Yay! Like, I, 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 I think I only had it once, uh, and that was, I think, six round where we had our first loss as a team. Uh, but other than that, it was very fun. Okay. And, that was a pretty successful run. Was it pretty much like, was Vic Plasm like the finisher for the deck, or was there other, like, was it, um, how, I mean, like, uh, playing that deck, the restand, is just, it's a lot of pressure. So, like, what was your finisher in that deck? Um, it was a great two that gains 5k until end of turn. Oh, uh, Susano? I always block my Vanguard. <laughs> so, um, uh, I would be coming at them, uh, 39k with two crits sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, so I would attack up to five times, and it'll just whittle the hand. Yeah, that's such a scary deck. All right, and Daniel, how is Kagro obviously deemed one of the best cards right now, or one of the best decks in the meta? Um, like, what was your your matchups like throughout the day? A lot of my matchups was like they like to guard a lot of early, so I just like pressured their rear guards more, so they kept losing hand. Only deck I'd say I really had a problem with was Abyss because I couldn't guard that early potential. Yeah. Whenever Sting Saber. And they did the, if they did, did the effect of things there, he was easier to guard because he doesn't keep that power and restand easy. I was like, oh, that, that, that 27 with the crit coming to my face, no PG, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing going into like team this team league and everyone kept you know like freaking out about was like Laurel being at four. Do you feel like Dimensional Police at all on Saturday played any effect? Like, was that like something we as an American uh, were like freaking out about? Japan knocked it early, didn't do anything with it, like, or, you know, they knocked it, so it's down to two. Do you feel like Dimensional Police at all was in effect that day? Uh, not really. I think we only ran into, actually, like, one deep police deck, and I think the Vin I, I fought out the deep police. Yeah, okay. Uh, and, like, like I said, my deck rushed them, so I forced them to drop that, you know, extra 5k for, uh, 5 to 10k for low, if you want to defend it, you know? Yeah. Or guard with it, you know? But yeah, uh, he could out his he could pull out his combo because it was getting to like mid game and he had no hand whatsoever. So he never got the grade two of one boost for his um legion mate or strike. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what happened. So he was mixing both. He wasn't trying to do like metal borg die kaiser. It was like more like the gallop or stuff like that. Or what was like the build you think? He went one gallop, three, three break ride, die kaiser, and four sin buster. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. But by turn by turn two, I got him at four damage, so it was already too late to die Kaiser. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What about, like, Gear Chronicle? Was that an effect for you guys at all? Like, did you run across that? Uh, um, uh, I ran across that. I ran across that um, near the finals. Only thing that hurt me about that, the guy did um, the Generation Rare one. I forgot what it was called to bounce my whole field. Yeah. So I maybe dropped my hand. Oh, then he did it again. And then he went into the Ragnarok clock twice, and that put a lot of pressure on me since he kind of tried to wipe my field out early. Yeah. Interesting. It okay. Slightly hurt, but it didn't hurt too much. What do you guys feel as like was like your um your worst match um in general? Like, what is your worst matchups? We, yeah, we all lost to Abyss. All ones of all all of us lost to Abyss once. Ah, <laughs> uh, got Shadow Paladin, Shadow Sack. Um. With with all the new support coming out for Shadow Paladins, do you feel like people should stick with the Legion stuff, or do they think that they should start venturing into the, um, I guess you could say, those newer Stride stuff, the like that you guys have seen? Does it really need it? Well, with like the news like Diablo support coming out, I feel like Diablo um, might mix, mix well with the Abyss, or just run with a um, Raging form still. But it depends on how you like the build. Like if you want to counter. Blast or blast easier. Sure. Okay. That's how I feel about it. Good to know. All right. Now with um we 
you guys you got second place. You got your invite. You get to go back to L.A. Uh, are you guys from that area? Or were you guys from north or south or from a little bit uh, somewhere else? Uh, we're from, uh, we're from Central Valley. Valley. I'm, well, sorry, so what was that? about a three-hour drive away. Okay, so you're not, I mean, you're not too far. I mean, three hours is still pretty good, especially since you got your invite. Um, They don't pay for a hotel or anything like that, right, for second place? So sad, um, so just sad. Just first. Oh. Yeah, I think just first. Okay. Well, that's not bad, then. I mean, at least you got your invite. You get to go back. Um, the team that you guys lost to, what were they playing? Again, I know, Vin, you um, said you are you had the matchup. Uh, they were playing mm -hmm. Kagero, The Cross, I believe, um, Abyss, and OTT. Ooh, OTT. OTT. Cookie. Mm, oh, Cookie. Oh, Cookie. Okay, well, three pluses. So, um, they'll obviously be going back um, and, oh, and being oh, there. Oh, oh. What was that? That could Oh, Coco. Sorry, Coco. <laughs> cookie, cookie does the same thing to a point. <laughs> all the all the things make you uh, make you hungry. Yeah, it's it's just a it's a buffet of of pretty young ladies. So, um, so with that being said, you guys get to go back. That's in July. I can't remember the exact date. We're gonna have set three out. We're gonna have fighters collection. We're gonna have Link Joker. Um. Uh, the trial decks. Uh, what are you guys gonna plan on changing your decks at all? I, I don't think Daniel, you don't have to. You get you get now even more uh, support as we found out yesterday. Dodex becomes bigger. <laughs> Wait for uh, my ace. Yep, the ace is out. Um, actually, Christopher's deck can kind of become a little more Kagero like. All that something has to do with stand retire, stand retire. It's pretty good in that respect. <laughs> I think Vin, you're the only one that kind of has like this deck right now where it could go up in the air. Like I don't, I I don't think Fighters Collection really helps um, greatly to the uh, the Royal Paladin Clan. I think it was, separates goes back to a little of other stuff. But is there something coming up that you guys want to play going forward, like from from the new stuff? Uh, I might be playing Great Nature. Oh well, yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty good. So. <laughs> What about you guys? Is there anything coming up that you guys want to play? Like Narukami? I mean, um... Narukami, Mixed with Brawler. Yeah. A little bit. If not, maybe we have another option. Maybe running Diablo in the group. Yeah. We get that collection. We do get that. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about playing Diablo or Link Joker because Diablo, I just really love Shadows. Mix it in. And then Link Joker, you put me to five. I got five reverse units. That Glendio strike gonna hurt. <sighs> Uh, you, see, everyone needs to just run something with an extra crit. I think that's the only way around that deck going forward. Just something yeah, that makes gonna... sure when it hits, extra crit. <laughs> well, that's very exciting. I mean, you you guys did uh, very well. It was a long day, like, overall. Like, how long were you guys there? Uh, 12 ish hours, I think. About 12 Nine. hours. Oh, yeah. It's such a long day. We got there about 8. We got there about 8. And I think it was ended around like nine something, so almost close to twelve hours. So or a little bit over twelve hours. Was this your first team uh, uh, regional as the as the three of you as a team, or have you guys been doing? Is it how long have you guys been a team? Uh, as the three of us, yes. But me and Vin, we topped out. Um, we were doing like shot qualifiers with our another friend Matt. Oh, okay. And then we we went to the we got the first place to the Queen Mary, but we scrubbed it up up there. <laughs> we uh, went to the twenty thirteen Continental Champion in Long Beach. Wait, wait, wait. We might have met each other then, because I was there at that time. What was your team name then? Uh, we had to change it. Yeah, we had to change our name to Team Jaeger. Jaeger. Okay. Uh, I might, I'll have to look that up, because I, I can't remember. I know we have all the listings of the teams and things, but... Um, yeah, I was there too, so that's crazy. What were you guys running back then? Now I call me the blood. Ah, yeah, well, <laughs> Kag Kagro, Dote, Nakar, yeah, it's all, it's all good, okay, well, that's really cool, so then you guys have been together then for a couple of years then, at least, and then, um, and now you guys have topped, uh, again, so that's really cool, so you establish yourselves as, a, uh, obviously a team on the West Coast, that's very good, I mean, what was the competition like to that day, do you really feel like it was good, I mean, like, I saw there was, like, what, 700 some people, um, how was the overall day in your mind? Like, was it really well run by Bushi Road and so forth? Like, um, overall, I thought it was really good. 241 teams, I think it was, that showed up. Yeah. Just at the end, the speakers were kind of going out, but that wasn't under their control. So everything wasn't too bad. And I liked how they did the surveys in the bags where everyone got to see how if they liked best of one or best two out of three. 
So they're going to see what they do with future support, especially since they changed the new um, sudden death. Uh, sudden death. Yeah, love the new sudden death. Wait, to explain that. Sudden... Sorry. Um, the new sudden death. Instead of just when it time is up, both players lose. It'll go from whoever's turn is on. It's turn zero, one, two, and three. And then whoever has the most, um, it will go on from there. But if both players are like at five damage, I think it's then it was a draw. Okay. Um, extra time. So whoever has the most damage at the end of sudden death would lose. Yeah. Is, okay. Or so, I think if they have the same, it'd be a tie as well. Sure. Okay. That's actually okay. That's pretty good for where they were last year, where it was just like time both lose or so forth. But I guess in teams yeah. that might make a world of difference because. Um, you got obviously there's three of you, best of one. You know, someone's got to be a winner and all that. It's just too much. So, uh, and were you? Did you guys get your blizzes? Uh, I heard there was a lot of controversy with that. That people were going and getting yeah. multiple blizzes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got twenty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough. <laughs> At I least you got them. That's promo codes on the floor, and I redeemed them as well. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I was like, I, if, I, if someone came up to you saying they're missing, I would have gave it back to him. Sure. If no one came up to you or said anything for like a half hour, so I was like, you know what? I kind of want more blizzes. <laughs> All right, well, that's good to hear. Well, awesome. I mean, I'm very excited for you guys. It's awesome, especially now hearing that you guys, this is the you you kind of done uh, multiple uh, performances in uh, California and so forth. So. Really excited. I hope you guys um, uh, do very well coming up here. Um, and we'll definitely keep in touch. If you guys win, I'll be contacting you again. So, um, But for those watching at home, the team uh, uh, Fire Breathing Rubber Duckies, uh, they did a phenomenal performance in my mind. Second place out of out of 700-some people, 200-some teams. Really, really, uh, really needs to be uh, looked at. I don't know how you guys feel about... Um, you know, like this game and the competitiveness, do you feel like we're going forward in the right track as far as the game and really, I, do you feel it needs to be more competitive? Like, you know, like Bushi Road's obviously caring, obviously you said there's just surveys, but do you really feel like that we're in the right step going forward? Overall, I think they're doing really well. It's like a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh players here don't want to get into it because there's not too much of a great prize pool yet for like tournaments. Mm -hmm. But I think if they keep going to the way they're going, I think they'll do good. Okay. And what about like ARG? Do you guys know of ARG? Alter Reality Games? Oh, uh, we, we, we have a bad experience with that. We went up to the ARG event for Las Vegas and they're like, oh, not enough people pre ordered, so we canceled the event. So Ooh. we're like, oh, well, we don't know what to do. So we literally just went back to the hotel, looked up card shops, and went all over the place just playing tournaments and just hanging out with like a lot of other random card players and just talking about what's coming up and whatnot during that time of the year. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you made, you made the best out, out of that. But, um, well, I mean, like, things with, like, ARG, like, I, I really think, um, you know, personally I'm involved with that, but, I, I, I mean, like, the West Coast has asked for it. So I don't know how you guys feel about it, but obviously that was one bad experience. But, like, I think there's going to be the thing that takes yeah. us to the next level as well. So Yeah. So if ARG ever hosted in California, we'll be there. As far as I know, they – they are trying. Like I, I do know that they're really wanting to get out there and host, uh, uh, host multiple events. But they've been, you know, working on it. So, yes, excellent. Well, excellent. Thank you so much, guys. I'm glad you had some time to, to sit down with me and uh, do this because I really want. Again, my goal is to make sure that people like you, the champions, you're recognized and known. And uh, it's only going to get better from this, I hope. So, you guys, congratulations, and best of luck to you in July. So, everyone at home, thank you for watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will talk to you later. Goodbye. What's up, Vanguardians? This is Jonathan S.P. Mindham here with a...